Hello, it's British Legion, and as you can probably tell from the titles, this is going to be a new project for me. Um, I'm totally blaming Mr. Super Chippy, uh, my good friend Owen, uh, for introducing me to this game quite a couple of years ago, actually, when it first was talked about going into Kickstarter. And I now believe, I think, I could be wrong, it's now into its second Kickstarter with uh, a second edition of the rules, um, and it's all being re-released again. But I don't think it's actually available to retail yet, but um, that's why it's always quite expensive on eBay. Anyway, let's jump into the future, because I couldn't really bring it all in uh, to the shop, because it's so big. Um, so anyway, let's jump into the future now. Right, so here I am in the future, by magic of YouTube. Uh, this is the book I was wittering on about that I've nearly got halfway through. And it's not a bad read actually. So yeah, this is what I couldn't struggle with down to work because it is heavy. Even with all them bits and bobs I've taken out for you, I'll show you in a minute. It's still a very big, heavy box. So, and also, <laughs> I've gone mental. That's just two of them out of like possible ten expansions, roughly. So yeah, this is like the second core sort of kickstarter stretch goals so yeah anyway back to back back to the past right i'm back so um back from the future that's unbelievable magic uh right so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to show you um some of the components out of that set uh i had been doing a bit of reading which is unlike me i don't really do too much research but uh, i broke out my old um 100 years war um research books which i did for the 28 mil perrys which i didn't get that far uh, so I've been reading a, a bit of this. I've gone quite further into the other book, the paperback, uh, uh, which I've started to read quite in depth. So um, I think I'm up to just finished the, the final battles with uh, Edward III. And I think now it's kicking in with the Black Prince. So that's really interesting. Uh, quite so political. But anyway, uh, I'm going to hit the deck and show you some of these lovely components. I, I tell you what, I have never ever been so in thrill with the game. I don't know what I'm going to say in the back in the in the future there, but uh, probably repeat myself. Uh, let's have a look. So these are all the scale is basically 15 mil, and these are the unbelievable, super detailed uh, plastic, hard plastic buildings you get. It's really solid as well. This is the church. Um, and you get these all come with a core set. Uh, a two story building, really nice. I'm really going to look forward to painting these up. And two smaller single story cottages, sort of beautiful. And we've got loads of trees, I've just got one out to, to show you. So I'm going to paint these trees up. Not that you need to because they're already two toned, but I will anyway. And what else have we got? We have some uh, arch, archer, beca archer barricades for the archers to protect them against cavalry charges which proved quite devastating in a couple of battles a solid brick wall with some vines on it a religious shrine really cool and a beautiful little village well and there are rock outcrops there and uh, some ruins and this is that's all available in the first core set Right, over here we have, I haven't got these out of the packets yet, you just have to bear with me because I don't want them all falling out everywhere. We've got, I think, peasants or sort of um, militant armed forces. Uh, we have in here, oh, they're the crossbowmen. They're sort of mainly French because the French have crossbows. We have men at arms. We have the English arch archers. Bowmen that were devastating in many of the battles because they pierced the heavy armor of the French cavalry. Uh, spearmen, and then on to here. Let's see if I can re uh, reposition it a bit better for you. We've got all the hero figures on the French side. That one there is the Black Prince standing on the rock. I haven't got to, used to all the names yet, but they're all the hero figures and civilians at the end. Blacksmith, Archbishop, the uh, the lady holding the... There's, there's Joan of Arc herself. So uh, then you get another select troop type, the of Armoured Knights. Loads of cavalry. I'm not going to go too mad. Oh, yeah, the werewolf. I'll come into that in a minute. Uh, Archbowman 
on mount, mounted bowmen sorry and i think they're the two hero mounted knights as well so yeah you saw the werewolf so this game i'm not going to go too mental about this detail i'll just actually i'll cut back to myself right so i'm back i'm back so back this game uh joan of arc uh time of legend um as i say it, it's just all my eggs in one basket it's historical and it's also fantasy based and the, the fantasy what what makes the fantasy so exciting for me it's sort of folklore french uh, historical f folklore uh you saw the werewolf just now the werewolf was a, uh there actually is a scenario in the uh, in the book where the, f the french army go into a village to hunt down a suspected werewolf um uh, one of the villagers was uh uh, pointed at saying he, he's a werewolf he needs sorting out because he's killing all the villagers which he probably was he probably did, was but he was probably just a mass murderer and uh you know it's french it's it's just folklore and, and that really really interests me so not only can you fight all the english and french battles that happened in the hundred years war you can also do as i say werewolves witches uh all the creepy things that happened back in them times and people that believe them now actually believe them then i mean things back then were really felt real like so I, okay it goes off in the deep end as well where you get some of the expansions you get a huge dragon which is literally that big uh you get the devil himself which is huge and you get more buildings uh you get a village set you get the, oh, the siege set is to die for the siege set you get a whole modular castle uh, war machines it's fantastic <sighs> what have you done i mean what have you done so it's it's just my cup of tea. So um, again, um, I won't be blitzing it all the time. I won't sort of be boring you every time. But um, let's say these figures, there's, there's some more there. Look. So it's 15 mil. Okay, sometimes they're a bit bendy, but it's all good. It's all good. We're going to paint up nice. And I have got the second core set. I, I don't know if that futuristic video bit at the start. I, I might have blitzed you a copy of that as well and showed you that, but we'll see. Right, thanks for watching, and um, I don't think I'm going to get anything painted up today because I'm watching uh, some uh, YouTube. I'm watching uh, Henry V on Kenneth Brandt, Brandt. I don't know, an old film on YouTube. So I'll probably be doing a bit of research and a bit of priming and stuff like that. Just put me let take it easy, eh? Oh, what a day! <laughs> right, I'll see you soon. See you. Bye.